Hey, but that's when you look for the buff ups, like one of these little eggs things that gets to slip through. Like the alchemist, I, I'm, I'm remembering, like, shout out to if he's listening right now to Fog, uh, for the insane amount of damage the alchemist could do through concoction. Sure. I, I if like, he can give away enough eggs. Uh, we were talking about the draft that's going on. Like, the, the first four TNC picks, like, the lineup doesn't look great. They needed a, a last pick that truly created a new win condition for them. I think OG mm -hmm. was perceptive banning the Meepo. TNC, of course, going Alchemist, but that's the sort of hero type they needed. A, a last pick that just enables the four TNC, like, killing heroes, the magic damage, mm -hmm. to to play around this centerpiece to the draft that can also carry the Aegis and actually win the game. And that's the Alchemist here, so... Yeah, Armel, th that's that's a lot of pressure on the Alchemist, however, and and if they can pressure early on, like if OG want to slow this up, oh, in fact, already TNC looking to get involved. This is a four on four around the top rune. Who do they nice. want to go for? You get a three man in the Nova, and the damage into Gabby is heavy. Tim's gets the fissure off, and he'll steal the bounty rune as well. They're all trying to escape up the hills. Gabby is the lowest, and that's the one they really cannot afford to lose. Slow him down. The Gal will now connect from Cuckoo, but it all comes too oh, late. No. Gabby's already been brought down by Jerax. Not just that, but you skilled Gale now. I mean, you do not want to skill Gale on Venomancer level one. Your tux, or your poison sting is far more valuable as a landing mechanic. Yeah, unless he can combo with something, but the only thing he's got is Ancient Apparition. He went cold feet. Like, there's not even the harassment that comes in from Chilling Touch either. And this, this is, is also man, problematic. Do you know how hard bottom lane is going to be for Gabby as well against a Furion and a tree? Look at the auto attack damage that can come out from this lane. They got a Blightstone level one, and, and Ember is is just not a strong hero. Mm -hmm. Your flame guard's cool and all, but they're just gonna hit him in the face. Uh, they're also lo looking towards top lanes. Cuckoo is baiting at the moment, looking for a fissure block. They already pinged down. They want to go on to no tell. Cold feeding him up. That's where they get the chain stuns nice, and the denial. Nice. And actually denies no tail. TNT were preparing three heroes to get this kill. And they yeah, don't even claim it. More importantly, you give no tail a free mana regen. And in addition, you've used three spells, one per, co per player. It's so much regen spent, and no tail had already bought, so he actually they lost nothing there. That helps OG. Mm -hmm. So Tim says the only thing he can do, he's dragging the creep wave off the top. Gabby is having a hard life on bottom, but EU's come down here to try and yeah. correct that balance as well. Yeah, and, and just to reiterate, if TNC don't like absolutely snowball through the laning phase, OG's gonna win this game. Like the mm -hmm. there is the emphasis on TNC here to make things happen in the laning phase. And, uh, they aren't looking great right now, <laughs> and I don't know if they ever get a lead in any of these matchups, specifically top, where Spectre not just lanes well against the Venno, but the one thing that this hero is weak against is high reach, and Spectre can just pop alt and jump on any of these squishy backline heroes on TNC, either support or the Venno. And you've got an Earth Spirit, which is just non-blink required initiation, another excellent Venno counter because you can ignore the ward spam and still initiate. I'm, okay, let's actually have a look at a different lane, because we've been talking a hell of a lot about top as uh, Cuckoo's probably going to die and bring our attention back up to this top lane. Actually, no, not enough damage to kill him off. But let's talk about mid. Alchemist versus ES. Obviously, a bit of an odd pickup um, coming in to put him on top of Topson. But how is he meant to play against this Alchemist? Like, what's the role of the ES in this game? I have no idea. He's the same thing in Thompson's role always is just play some dotes and you know kill people, deal some magic damage. Uh, I like that he went Bassy first. It's a nice way to be able to mitigate the acid spray damage from Armel, who I think also makes a good decision here, going double bracer oh, to help his last. Great TP over, and this is going to help them give just that extra bit of damage they need to kill off the ancient apparition. Jirax has just been watching the pull, and just that global presence which OG are able to achieve, not just through the teleportation of Nature's Prophet, but also later on, Spectral Haunt. Yeah. Yeah, and go, go back to mid lane real quick. I, I just want to reiterate, like, Armel going double bracer is big here because it equalizes the damage, uh, last hitting rather. It's 71 on Earth Spirit now and 72 on Armel. If he goes for your more typical, like, rush treads or, like, you just like having these early stat items because you're laning against a melee hero and you're just straight up dueling them. You know, it's like DK <laughs> versus Ember or something like that. And you want to ensure you're, you're not in a damage disadvantage. And pointing again to top, like, this is just so scary for TNC because I don't see them ever really able to pressure Ana. And mm -hmm. the only one who could rotate is really going to be the Ember Spirit. And I don't think Gabby's going to want to leave this lane early because that just means Seb takes a free tower. Yep. Have ourselves a quick pause as TNC. <laughs> what? Uh, yes, Topson. Uh, okay, so... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on this top, but I'm also kind of interested to see, like, how the Crystal Maiden's able to function later on. Like, 
I just don't see the heavy rotations from OG to contest Alchemist if there were stacks. But I suppose there are no know, stacks because they can't leave the lane, right? The thing right? is, it's also not difficult to deal... To not... Okay. The, like, TNT can easily win this game. The Alchemist can go off. But yeah. you have the tools on OG to hunt him without needing no tail to do anything. You've got Haunt. You've got Global TP from Furion. You've got a tree that can hunt. And then an Earth Spirit with an 1800 initiation range. Yeah. In theory... You can scout him with tree and have four heroes on top of him in a millisecond, and there's no real way to prepare for that as TNC. And sure, they've got a bit of global mobility when the AAL comes online, when Ember starts to being able to move, but it, none of the cores like naturally want to be playmakers. And mm -hmm. yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see. It, it just feels like an easier game for OG to execute. Yeah. It's kind of like the way we started yesterday. It's like, well, okay, how's this draft looking? Well, one's really complex to try and roll out, but if it works, it's going to look fantastic. But if it doesn't, if the timing was wrong, this is the Dazzle mid of Team Liquid I'm referring to, mm. like, you just, it's just very problematic to try and regather. Yeah. And if you can control your map, then it's going to get better. Chirax, uh, okay, he's going to get rid of the Sentry Wall, but Seth being initiated on the Siri Chase, no! It went off to the tree as they kept him on top, but it won't matter anyway. Seb is still going to be brought down by Gabby. That's big. <laughs> That's a long Seb. <laughs> Thanks, Ellen. Well, they're coming again. Gabby was a little bit too far forward. Seb's looking for revenge. As Gabby has the lead seed on to him, Girax slowed up and will be forced to turn around. And notably, the AUAA is going to be maxing cold feed here. A really good synergy with effectively all of the other heroes on his team will be able to land that spell easily with any disable apply and revise well, right they here. find Jurax. he came back in close enough meanwhile up on top lane no tails being hunted down by cuckoo supports on, on the way from tim's able to hit that fissure which means crystal maid's gonna tick out of course again anna he can see this coming from a mile away just denies the crystal maiden once more because they got no burst damage to finish him off yep, this is the dream for no tail i'm telling you as a five position like he's doing a great job ensuring he spends all his money as he dies because it takes time when it's venom shaker and he just gets free metal he just tp's back in look at this they're immediately going back on cuckoo Yep, the look at Tim's. He's waiting. He has the fish, so it's difficult for OG to just easily initiate in. This mid lane, by the way, the CS is looking almost even. Like, it's 10 the difference, but the network the, yeah, is exactly. already over 4.1k. Top lane, Cuckoo's in trouble again, but hey, don't worry. He's got Tim's here, or actually, he's got Tim's there, but where is your Fisher? He's still on cooldown for one more second. He can throw it out and actually get the kill onto No Tail. He just needs a little bit more time, and here cool. comes it. Thompson's here though. Yeah, pops the gold. Killed off Cuckoo. Gonna turn on the Magnetize. And uh, Seb's also gonna TP in. He had a little bit of extra damage to ensure that Tim's gonna tick out. The Tango regeneration, it will not be enough. So Thompson will claim his second kill underneath that tier one. Yeah, the thing is though, it's a lot of space for Armel, who's doing a great job, like continuing to try and stack his own camps. I love the build he went for as well. Like just skip stun, 303, tons of stats straight into Radiance. So it's a way to be as gold and slot efficient to make your hero as strong as possible. And then you just say, all right, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna wait for this huge item now. And you look at the warding from Se uh, from mm -hmm. Jerex, by the way. He just placed all of those. It's very easy to ward effectively as a Treant because the enemy side will not see you. Obviously, you're invisible. Yeah. And he places a bunch of wards specifically to find Armel as he tries to farm his Radiance. Yeah, but it seems also a little too easy for Armel where he's got that camp so close to the mid lane and he's can like the pressure is still being applied from mid. Like He yeah. doesn't have to back off too far. It's like Anna may be in a little bit of trouble up on top. Tim's is moving over. The cold feet will begin. The Fisher to fall up. He does have 16 one charges. Don't know if he wants to commit it because really he's dead. So Anna, yeah. down for the I, count on top lane. That's a good kill for Cuckoo. I uh, will say right now I'm liking. Well, they're the going up to Gabby. Underneath the trees, Jirax needs to just punch him once, but they can't get, they can't close the distance. So far, I'm really liking TNC's place in this game right now. I, I think Armel is going to be able to single-handedly carry this if he can just play this game for the next two, three minutes. Right now, OG, they're not in a position to contest Alk at all. They have a level three tree. They have a level four CM. Anna does not have his ultimate. Whereas Armel, he, he's going to have a Radiance at like... 10, 11 minutes. Yeah. And you, you actually can't kill him as OG. They have major damage issues against this Alk until they're online. They need a Spirit Vessel. They need, like, mm -hmm. Manta on it, Spectre. And it's very scary for them at the moment. I wonder then, like, uh, if you get it from somebody else, I'm saying, like, well, how does Topson itemize if you get the Spirit Vessel onto him, if he's going to have that money I, early on? I think on? so. I think that that's actually a big part of why uh, he's playing this hero, because that item is necessary against an Alk. Mm-hmm. 
Well, he can get set. that. You got the orchid build coming in from Seb. That's dangerous. Rolling. Boulder up on the top. Tops and initiates over onto Cuckoo. He'll get the Gale off with the Magnetize. Cuckoo knows he's going to die. That's why he begins the TP, but there's another kick available. And Spectral Horn, he's bouncing all the way down, working with Jirax oh. to kill up the Alchemist. Maybe this won't work for him. Gabby will arrive as well as Jirax. He can go Invis in one second time. Remember, there's very little fade time, but he will still be brought down before that cooldown can come off. But Seb's adding the pressure on the sideline. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm just scared because when you go this Orca build on Profit, you, you're going to be able to find kills, but Alk's a natural Manta buyer. And in addition, it makes you a target as the Prophet. He'll have like a thousand health for the next 10 minutes in this game. And she can be offensive, but if an Ember gets on top of you, you are dead. Same with Alk, same mm -hmm. with a Shaker Fisher into a Cold Feet. It's a very dangerous game Seb's trying to play here. Yeah, it's not just that simple, easy split push, but obviously OG have, have the mindset, right? Like, the team fight is going to have to happen. They need to pressure the Alchemist early yep. on. They need to pressure TNC as a whole early on. And if you can orchid the Venomancer, take Nova out of the picture, take any of these big abilities out of the picture, yeah, life it, would be better. And, you know, look at the net worth, right? Look at the heroes of TNC that aren't Alchemist. This is the problem with the first four picks, right? They needed this hero that could win them the game. And it's what's enabling them to be behind in the other lanes, to be behind as these more mid-game centered heroes. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that Gabby is 3K net worth near 10 minutes in, mm -hmm. level six, because his only purpose is going to be to help Armel win him the game, find some stunts, initiate, draw some attention as Armel walks forward with like yep. 20K net worth. Hey, later on, you can give an Ag, so you can have all the spirits in the world. But uh, for now, OG have taken a second tier one tower up on the top. So we've got the last hits on both of these. So that Orchid timing is going to be rapidly moved forward. And you have a Radiance coming out on Armel. Yeah. Like now. Yeah. The, uh, as soon as they get a Bounty Rune, he has Radiance. In yeah. fact, he just finished it. A 10-minute Radiance <laughs> the, on now. The recipe of the Courier Thompson. Trying to rolling bottle away. Great Fisher stuns him up. The Cold Feet will trigger as well. The Rune getting denied up by Seb. But they want the kill onto Thompson. They're sticking around. Potential denial. Another rolling bottle forward. But Ember Spirit blocks the path out. Fantastic maneuvering by TNC. Just at every single pass of OG's potential escape, they block it. And you have Armel with Radiance. He's got so many stacks now, picking up an easy one at the hard camp in the enemy jungle as well. God, the, the, the money. He just spent yeah, all of his cash. He's back to 800. Worth. I'm telling you, you you don't need to do things with the other TNC heroes. There were four players at the top runes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it doesn't matter that Seb is out split pushing them, is farming. They find a kill on him here. Yep. It's just so much easier for TNC to play now because they have by far the most powerful hero in the game right Into now. Into the mid. The TPs are coming in. Cuckoo's ready to roll. Um, and again, he's got Gale. No tell. Gonna let it go in the tree lines. Everyone's just moving away. They're looking instead over towards the tree protector who can't get up. He's still caught inside the answer spray, ticking down. The concoction will connect as well. Jirax, Anna, he's there to <laughs> deny. That's his third deny of the game. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it is, it is Alk versus the world at a certain point when the spirit vessel, the manta, and maybe the orchid come out for OG. That's when all of a sudden their team starts to be able to deal with Alk. But for right now, mm -hmm. TNC are going to look to just play around Armel and secure more towers. They need towers. They have no tier ones. They cannot just sit back Ooh, and Ice Blast is up. Seb's going to get hit by that on the bottom lane. And Gabby just comes in nice and close, sticks with him, makes sure that Seb just can't easily TP out. Needs to burn him down a little bit more so Seb will then shout up, but Gabby gets the kill. Great space, great farm on all the treants. And something getting Gabby back into the game. He's actually, he's third on the net worth at the moment. It, it feels really imbalanced just because already we have a 10k net worth Alchemist 12 minutes in. But yeah, Gabby has really been playing catch up. For sure, but the thing is, it's so much, it's just, as you can see, because of his hero, is just the natural kit of an Ember. With the assistance of an AA and of a Shaker, they're great heroes for an Ember to play around. And Prophet Tree, like these heroes are very squishy to his Here they go damage. again. Spirit committal in forward. Needs to get the Searing yeah. Chains off. Keep the damage coming. Jirax has no trees to work with. Another Slide of Fist will get the kill. Gabby begins his own TP out. Well Anna and Seb have no disable. So it's a quick jump out while Cuckoo will be knocked down by Topson. Yeah, he is going for the Vessel as expected. So that will come online. I'm, I'm still concerned for Seb though. Traditionally, you see him play with auras, right? He's the man that invented it. He won TI on the back of, of Vlad's and Greaves, yep. not Orchid Rushes. And I'm very afraid that it's, his game impact is going to be low. He will not be able to utilize this item. It was always like, OG always did better when he had the auras 
but he also had an AoE stun or some kind of big initiator. This is why like, Magnus keeps getting banned out in the first phase against OG every single time. Great combinations, easy once again, and this will be Thompson going down. He cannot, he cannot avoid it. Shatters to the Ancient Apparition. Yep. And now I think TNC, you've already got wards in the enemy jungle for just a bit more. Play around now, get this top tower. You, you want to try and start taking map control. I think OG, they have the right read on this. You can see Anna already mirroring the movements, playing bottom. Three wards in the bottom area of the map. One was countered recently by the Radiant, but it doesn't matter. You want to be playing bot. You want to just extend this game, as the panel was saying at the start. You want to just continue to mm -hmm. prolong it until you're eventually strong enough to kill this damn Alchemist. Man, I... I'm still wondering, like, like you're talking about all these great items that OG can have against the Alchemist, but everyone else from TNC is still getting their own. Anna, okay, that's a Nova being committed. Gabby's moving in as well. Ice yep. Blast is going to connect as Anna moves up the hillside. You can't deny that one. Alice Nortel sits in the river, trying to force Gabby back, working with Thompson as well as Seb. They have the overgrowth from Jirax. He'll also join the fight. Maybe Ember Spirit. No, he cannot jump and get away. Spectre did tick out at the same time. Earth Spirit. Wants to keep rolling, bouldering in. Can he find a different target? Both of the supports of TNC on the way out. Here's your rolling boulder forward already, EU. Dodges it, the kick comes forward. A Little bit of slow and silence. Armel's now arriving. The Alchemist has joined the fight. And Thompson has one anything to do. He's actually clipped himself at tips. Gets the sun off. The concoction can still fly out as Jirax almost permanently summoned the fidget. will find there. Actually, no, it's Armel who will find up two kills. They're gonna give him the third one onto No Tail. And Thompson's still on the hill. He doesn't want to come back down again. They know he's up there. The Plague Wars are watching him. Thompson rolling ball is down. They're going to give the Ultra Cut to wow. Armel. Of course they do. Let the money flood in. That's his Manta style. That's yeah. OG practically he, all dead. He beat Seb to, to Orchid with his Manta. Like, you got to kill this Alk, right? How, how is that a thing anymore for OG? That was a great movement. I was going to... Oh, Sit, God. oh, hang on. It really is going to be all five depth. Anna has no escape out this one. He'll burn to the Radiant, so Gabby can just spirit jump forward and get him to. Yeah, I was about to say I didn't know if Armel was making the right choice here. He could have just kept split pushing top, take a free tower. But when you show up and get an ultra kill, what is OG doing still moving forward? The moment you see that Alchemist in his own jungle, you have got to get out of dodge. And instead, they're like, they're still continuing to try and like turn this around. <laughs> it's like we got like, this guy, right? could have rolled away and to safety long ago, but they're still trying to take an engagement that they really just don't have a chance of winning. Mm -hmm. and, and looking at Ana's items, actually, he went for a hood. Like, they do not have the offensive capabilities right now to do anything to Armel unless he makes a critical error. Well, here's your silence going on to Armel. Frostbite as well. What's but it no won't matter. No tail. He's walking in. The rest of his team did not want anything to do with this. Spectral Haunt was up, and maybe he was waiting for Anna to get the jump, but Anna doesn't have the damage. He went for a Hood of Defiance. Like, he, yeah, he's it, it, he's it, slowed down. It doesn't feel like the item synergy is there right now for OG, and they're often the best at it, right? Mm. You've got Ana playing this more defensive style, like he's trying to buy time into the mega late game, whereas Seb and Topps are like, hey, so we can kill Alk now, right? Yep. And, and I don't know if they realize this, but this is a 15k <laughs> net worth at 16 minutes. This game is... Maybe the thought. Very hard. Maybe the thought was also there from OG. He's like, well, these are the items we had to kill the Alchemist. Let's just give it a shot. Like, like, it has to work. So at least we'll know if it does or doesn't work. But maybe that's when you have to start playing a little bit more shady. Get into the back lines, slow things down. Thompson runs in actually into the middle of Tim's while the concoction on bottom lane is going to get the kill into Seb. But Thompson, he's getting a solo kill right now on Tim's. Thanks to having his magnetize up. Uh, Jirax. Yeah. He's a double kill for Armel. It's not like he's got enough kills. He's now 8 0 4 yeah. on this and Alchemist. The problem is, as well, he just finished a blink. So I again <laughs> point to, to Seb's just HP. He's the top net worth on his team. But until he has a BKB, if he gets blinked on by Armel, if he gets remnanted on by Ember, he's just dead. Mm -hmm. He is immediately dead, as we've seen now, like, what, three, four times he's just been picked off because there, there's no method of survival against these heroes with hard lockdown and tons of burst damage. So it's blink into Shiva's. Now even worse, like you've got no you've got no damage. Thompson's trying to run himself out this mid, so he got clipped by the oh. ice blast. Uh Prophet gonna begin his own TP in. Yeah, you're not gonna you complete that. that. Thompson, what are you still doing here? He turns around, rolling bolt is up. They'll hit him with the veil, the gale, and everything oh. else. And real quick, I love what Tim's did here, this adaptation, right? Look at the Earthshaker. Treads, double bracer, no blink. What's the point of having a blink when you're playing against a tree end who's invis, the earth spear with the roll in, the specter haunt that would inevitably cancel your blink? It's not reliable as a tool for initiation. Mm -hmm. Abuse the fact that OG don't have the damage to kill your alchemist. 
Thus, if you can make them unable to kill you, as like, what? Who do they target? Yeah. Who do you go for as OG when you have an Ember and Alk and a Shaker just walking at you with Venom wards placed around the map? And it seems like everyone's slowed down enough anyway that he can just walk at him. Like Cuckoo's getting enough of the slows yeah, across I... the map, and now OG, they're coming in. They're gonna find Tim's a little bit far up. Rolling Boulder well off target. Could have actually started that with Frostbite, but they silenced him up for so half a tanky. second. Tim's now gets the fissure off, and the Ice Blast. No Tail's gonna hit by this perfectly. Anna jumps in, but the Echo Slam. Tim's just locks down Thompson as well as Anna. Here comes Armel looking for the concoction, but it's in the back lines. It's Gabby with the Searing Chains. He'll kill up No, no Tail. He'll hold Thompson in position. And this game has beyond escalated quickly. Yeah, this has just it's... been a gradual roll in favor of TNC, and Seb's gonna die as well. The concoction connects on bottom. Gabby, come on. That like, was our mess. Was that not like scripted right there? You try to kill Tim's, he's the support Earthshaker, but it takes so long that that's all you get, and you've lost four now. Mm -hmm. it, like, TNC, really, credit to them. They're playing this game excellently, but I, I feel like OG's had the wrong read on it for a while. Yeah. You're smoking to take an engagement here. This You can't win this fight. You can't. If they, could, if they could get the quick and easy kill onto him, then maybe they could turn into something else. But you're right, he's just so tanky, and the heroes don't have the burst damage. Because what does Thompson have? Like, Thompson can have his silence. He can have his level of control. Yeah, but once that's gone, you need Ana. Look at Ana's items, though. He's got Haunt Shirt. He's got, a, he's got 93 damage. He's got a hood and treads and two right. Like, this, and this is not a again. strong hero right now. He gets hit by Ice Blast. He's trying to survive this by having that hood, and he will survive for a long time. He's got the living armor as well as that extra little bit of a buff up. Supports come in from the back lines from Seb and Anna. Another spectral dagger out, but the spirit committal. Gabby, he really wants to get this kill. He's searing chained him, locked him in the tree lines. Seb side back in the lane. Maybe no talents. Thompson, no. No tail frostbites and then goes into the trees. He can let it go, but there's very little that Thompson can do here. Rolling bolus forwards, gets a double silence, turns on the magnetize, but here comes Armel. Here's the big beast. OG will start buying back into this game. But all it's going to do is feed more money into the yeah. Alchemist. He'll kill off Thompson. And this game, it actually feels like it's already over. We haven't had a tier 3 tower being though. attacked, but yeah, they'll keep it going. They'll keep moving up. Gabby will get himself his 11th kill of this game. I'm, I'm so I don't know, Toby. Like, it's not, it's not going to work. They found G-Rex in the trees as well. They put down Tinker Wards up on the hillside so they could see G-Rex coming in. And Seb running away. Low on life, begins his own TP out. Armel, one punch would do it, but he's not a one punch man. Dude, it, it's like, it, it'd be one thing if there was some sort of vision advantage for OG, right? But playing against AA Venno, that's never going to be the case. Look at the amount of sentries placed throughout their jungle by TNC. OG just keep trying to take fights, but well. it's not its not a thing, and Seb is dead again. Yep. Ice Blast will actually kill him. Thompson, rolling boulders yeah. in, but it's a quick jump away. And, and I again point to the Orchid, the two real targets for OG, right? They're Alk and the Ember. And by the time the Orchid was online, you had a Yules on Gavi, and you had a Manta on Armel. Mm -hmm. They're not targets anymore. And it's not as if you're going to be able to find the AA in the back of the fight. AU has no intention of being in a position like where he can be isolated or, or <laughs> just cut off in, from in the back. It's, he's just standing around his team. They're finally going to do Roshan. 21 minutes into the game, 29 kills into the game for TNC alone. And OG have no way to scout one, they just prop us down. Thompson, if he goes for it, it'll be a suicidal run. Cuckoo's already putting the wards down, Radiant Scan, Dire Scan, uh, everyone's aware of what's happening. Spectral Horn from Anna can get him in the middle of the thick of this, but they don't know the timing of Roshan, he's already at 1.2k. And then the initiation as she comes towards the mid lane. Ice Blast comes in, no tell on top, gets perfectly hit by that. The Nova is pretty damn good as well. Everyone's gonna start to tick down. Maybe they can get something in return. Cuckoo will finally die. OG can get a kill, but they're gonna lose everything else. Here comes Armel. Jirax actually just ticks down as well, as Armel just had to stand next to him. Letting everybody else, the supports, get the kills. This game's over. GG. Not even 22 minutes on the board, and OG will admit defeat. But you can see, if they had taken, like, that fight without being, you know, 20,000 gold down, like, maybe you got a chance. But I see it as, like, OG gave away, like, 15 of these 33 kills, asking for an engagement that they cannot win. Yep. You cannot... <laughs> Do this. <laughs> and TNC, like they were memeing the whole game, like spam and chat life, they're having a blast. Yeah. They 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 went they went beyond Doji and they they slapped him down. The Alchemist never really contest. He went for an even trade-off. 
But even yeah. the side lanes, it felt like OG's OG's attention was always on the side lanes. It was yeah. never able to be done on the Alchemist. Like, Dude. hey, we, we warded for the Alchemist, and then they attacked the side lanes. If you want to fault TNC for anything, it's maybe their, like, their team coordination, their ability to make critical decisions in a pinch. Like, oh, do we Roche? Do we go defend this bottom racks? Yeah. Liquid loves playing TNC at times because you can abuse their, their movement, right? You can mm -hmm. outthink them throughout the game. You don't hope to outplay TNC. They don't have a, a, a dearth of... Uh, individual talent they're incredible players it's mm -hmm. about how do they work as a team if you just want to keep fighting them they'll do that all day especially when they've got a lineup like that and yep. they they just they just played their game they had fun and that, that wins dota hey that's what we expected from og right no matter what happens even if your draft isn't quite right you still keep running at them you still keep fighting okay. og a uh, true to og same for tnc fantastic games from both teams i want to see more please Thank you very much. Yes, uh, we are going to see more as well because that is just game one of two as we head into our second game of the series very shortly. Of course, we're going to break down game number one. I, I'm not really sure where we start other than to say that alchemists are pretty rich. They got dumpstered. <laughs> they, they did get dumpstered. I didn't want to be that guy, but... I, I got you. So the <sighs> yeah, last pick was just really good. What do you do when it's like that, though? Are you just like, ugh, write it off? I mean, they, they were kind of screwed, right? Because they the, the last pick alchemists, they didn't have this, like, pressuring typical like win mid hero it was a uh, or spirit even though Thompson did very good in rotations he's not gonna like beat the other mid convincingly which you sometimes need especially right. against an elk and then if they do want to kill elk they have to do ganks and then their ganks would have to be either a cm or a tree tree's not right. good at ganking mid and cm's got to protect the specter so it's just like elk had the free game to do elk things and the rest of the game just went okay and then elk just kind of like stomped everything mm. uh Sib said before the game that they were enjoying themselves mm -hmm. um i think tnc out enjoyed themselves oh for sure they they out enjoyed og which is weird well they spammed the sub line more than og I so <laughs> i almost think this is like i don't know is that a mental thing or what i don't know it's, it's just they but they are having a lot of fun yeah tnc I think both teams in the pre uh, pre video both said that they're just here to have they're gonna enjoy the game. Yeah. It's not gonna take it too seriously. Obviously, it's still gonna win. I think you can see like OG's draft, but they have like two main styles of draft. The one which is like the they have the big run at you, the real like the Abaddon's, the Bat Riders, these type of like Monkey Kings as well, and it's like a nice kind of aggressive draft. And then the other side is when they get a little bit more creative and they try and be like have the greedy element and like not so much of a strong four man. And you can see here when they put this Earth at mid. They're yeah. trying to like reinvent what they were doing last patch, where they <laughs> picked this Pangolier early, or they picked this hero, and like this Earth Spirit picks, like it's like the, them. I'm guessing trying the new version of what they done last time, and clearly it didn't work because like TNT, TNC's draft. When you see those four heroes, their last pick, like I said, they could pick Medusa, like an Alk as well is great. They can pick uh, like a Meepo as well, which I think OG banned. Like yeah, did ban and last. Like, TNC could pick any greedy win condition mid, and this game is just so easy for them mm. to win, just because OG's draft is so. I don't know. It's just. It's trying to be a bit too creative right now. Okay. But, but worth worth a try, I guess. Sure. Why it was not? worth giving it a go. It was fun to dream of the possibilities yeah. that yeah. never exactly. happened. Yeah, I mean yeah. Samael was probably watching this thinking, I hope Earth Spirit mids a thing. Because he plays a lot of Earth Spirit in the pubs. I, I, um, I don't know. <laughs> I could see him also heavily <laughs> criticizing like Probably this, this is stupid. Yeah. Probably. Uh MVP, Armel. Probably, yeah. yeah. I think the MVP... I mean, that's, the, that's the easy one to pick here, right? Can I go for a different MVP outside no. the players? On the screen, MVP, Armel. <sighs> I don't want to vote Armel. <laughs> I, I don't agree I mean, with you, this. You, you can know? go your own way. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna say that All I right. feel the MVP is yeah. actually... If Gabby. Heen, if Heen was clicking the buttons for the draft, whoever clicked the buttons on okay. the draft, right. he, he's got the MVP. Right, so that's Armel. Was he clicking the buttons? Yeah. Okay, then. What a god. I don't know. No, there's no way it's Armel. No way the mid lane is there drafting. I know. Uh, I mean, it was just a one-sided performance. Yeah, and, and of course. That's like, kind of what we have to ride it off for. I guess no, OG yeah. are going to ride it off as that, aren't they? They're going to yeah. worry. Yeah, like this, this loss is like this draft as well. Like in a different scenario where you, you're playing up against obviously a different lineup, like this draft, it does have its pieces. It yeah. does work well, but against such a solid draft from TNC, it's, it's not going to be able to really get to the point where it's actually showing its like mm. abilities. So. All right. Good stuff. Thank you very much, gents. Uh, break headed our way to pay some bills, of course, here at ESL 1 Birmingham. But don't go too far away. Game 2 just around the corner. Plenty for OG to think about as we head into Game 2, but I don't think they're going to be too worried. TNC, on the other hand, what a bunch of comedians they were in Game Number 1. We'll see what they come up with in Game 2 very soon.